So, it's time to do 2017-18 Donner's Optic Basketball, five box break, number 35. Oh, well, I do need to change the name on there. Oh, dude, Mickey D's was, it's honestly Mickey D's. I would suggest anybody and everybody have that be their first job. Because you see a whole new side to, to the human being condition when you have to deal with like their food and stuff. People turn into animals. And you know, and it's, again, it's a it's a great experience. You you learn how to how to deal with pressure, and you know, being in certain situations. It was for me. It was a, it was a great experience. I thought you know I took I took it as a positive thing, and it, it was one of those situations where I promised myself that I would never, ever, ever, ever work in the food industry ever again, and I haven't. So pretty proud of that. Did you get fired or quit? I quit. I quit. I actually uh, I had yeah I had worked when I was fifteen, so. I was at McDonald's for like three years. Then when I graduated high school, uh, I did get accepted into. I dude, I got accepted to a lot of colleges, not for nothing. But I decided to go to Orlando to like this, like uh, like a an art school or whatever. So that was my thing. Like I didn't really quit. I just I put in my two weeks notice and I was like, look, I can't work here anymore because I'm going to Orlando. I'm gonna be a student over there. So I, I've never actually been fired from any jobs, not yet anyway. Uh, and technically I have never like quit because to me quitting is like fuck this I'm out and I just walk out I've never done that I've always put in like my two weeks notice like oh here's my two weeks notice do what you gotta do because I'm gonna do what I gotta do kind of situation like dude if I had if my first job was Dunkin Donuts I'd probably still be working there <laughs> I freaking love donuts dog but yeah McDonald's was not it was not a fun job you definitely see the worst out of people, and yeah. And plus, back in the day, they used to have this thing where, like, every Wednesday, they would have like fit like forty nine cent cheeseburgers and hamburgers. Sundays, it'd be like fifty nine cent cheeseburger hamburgers. I used to hate working on those days, cause you would always get the like the little after school, you know, soccer mom coming through. Let me get three hundred hamburgers. And I, and I got to sit there and make 300 hamburgers. Not 299, not 298, no, 300 hamburgers. Those were not fun times. When the McRib came out, I used to hate making the, oh God. I would come home smelling like McRib, old ass barbecue sauce and, and freaking french fries. Oh Oh, God. It was fun, though. Anyways, what are we doing? Optic? All right, I'll be back. All righty, then. Your first job was at a bagel place. Uh, JD, it was, I believe, case number four, XR number four, uh, that we did last night on our store. I got another full case break of XR football, number five, down to 12 teams. Uh, Bears, Bucks, Cardinals, Chargers, Colts, Cowboys, Jets, Raiders, Rams, Ravens, Texans, and Titans still available. You love the McRib? Oh, God, no. No, dude, there are three things you should never get from McDonald's. I'm about to break it down right now. Three things you should never get from McDonald's. The top one is a McRib. You should never get a McRib. Why? Because it literally sits. Okay, so the, in McDonald's, I don't know if you've noticed this. When if you if you like if you ever watch somebody make your food. You'll notice that they have like trays where they keep the, the nuggets, the, the patties, the meats and whatnot. And you're supposed to throw out the meats like every now and then. Like there's a timer for it. And you already know, McDonald's, a multi-billion dollar business, is not about to just throw away some food. 
So the McRibs would literally sit in that in that little uh, tray for days. So that's like the one thing you would never that I would not suggest ordering. Pork from a fast food joint? Never. Sorry, JD. I'm sorry, my man. But you you, you, you know how that goes. You know how that goes. Uh, never get any pork from McDonald's ever. Bacon? None of none of that ever. Uh, what's another one? Never order a milkshake. Why? Because they never clean the machine, ever. And the third thing you should never order is the fish. Never order the fish. It's always undercooked and it's just disgusting. Why would you order fish of all things from a fast food joint? The only good thing that I would recommend from McDonald's, I recommend the parfaits because the parfaits are done fresh every day. Uh, what else? The pies. I recommend the pies, the cookies, because those are made fresh every day. Um, what else? The sweet tea. The sweet tea is also done every day, and they clean that thing out every day, or at least when I used to work there. And there's there's not many things out. I, I would not recommend eating the salad. I'll tell you that right there. The fries are cool. I mean, whatever you know. You're not really eating potato, you know, potato fries, but whatever. None of the food you get from McDonald's is actual food. It's all pumped up with preservatives and, and all types of other science experiments. But yeah, I would if, if I had to throw you three things to never order from the menu, never order the McRib because it's never fresh. Never order the, the filet fish because that's just disgusting. And never order a milkshake or any kind of ice cream because they never clean the machine. Mind you, they're supposed to clean those machines like at least twice a week. Bro, I worked at a McDonald's for three years. Three years! And not once did I see them clean that machine. Maybe they cleaned it when I wasn't working. Maybe. Possible. I doubt it though. Well, then again, I did work at a McDonald's that is in the hood so there's also that <laughs> clean the machine you clean the machine I ain't cleaning nothing anyways let's see what we got here good luck y'all so we got a rookie uh, Giles there hey look at that autograph already there is one auto per box and here's the one tail dosic clippers a purple Gordon, which is to 155. Hogs rookie, Blazers insert, Raptors rookie, Heat rookie, Kings rookie, Celtics insert, Nets rookie, uh, Lakers insert, Clippers rookie, a uh, Timberwolves disco. I hear Jimmy Butler requested a trade. It took him. What, what, it took them two seasons to realize that the, the Timberwolves are going nowhere. Grizzlies rookie, a J. Ru Holiday Pelicans to 85. Leiden rookie, Knicks insert, Thunder insert. Hornets rookie, Marquise Chris of the Suns to one, one night a tree. Suns insert, Raptors insert. Uh, Cavs insert, Jazz insert. Hawks rookie. Sixers insert. Well, it's not an insert. It's a disco variation. Uh, Celtics rookie. Spurs insert. Sixers rookie. Clippers disco. Grizzlies rookie. Lakers rookie. Another Laker rookie. Suns rookie. Blazers rookie. Bulls insert. Pacers rookie. Uh, Dream on disco for the Warriors. To finish up the first box. I. Why was that, Cody? I don't, e dude. I don't even remember what came out of that. All I know is the Broncos hit a ton in XR football, 
every case that I've opened, there's been at least three rookie patch autos for uh, for the Broncos. And that's me lowballing it. So Broncos definitely worth the price of admission. In other news, the greatest, one of my favorite movies ever is back on Netflix. Role Models is on Netflix, baby. I freaking love that movie. So many quotables. It's, oh God, I love that movie so much. I, I fell asleep watching it yesterday. It was, it's great, it's great. I wish they came out with a sequel to that movie. I want to spend a, a, a special shout out to my moderators over on the Rip City Cards group responding to messages I love it I'd love it In today's news, a 45-year-old man threatened to kill an 11-year-old boy after losing at Fortnite. <laughs> in, a, in, a, in other news, Fortnite has been cited in over over 200 different uh, divorce proceedings. <laughs> ah. Magic Rookie, Rocket Rookie, Rocket Rookie, Bucks Insert, Suns Rookie, Kings Insert, Jazz Rookie, Cavs Disco, Clippers Rookie, Justin Jackson Rookie for the uh, for the Kings with the Rookie Auto. Kid Gilchrist, 183 Hornets, Pelicans Rookie. Celtics insert, Kings rookie, Knicks disco, Hornets rookie, Celtics disco, Spurs insert, Lakers rookie, Wizards disco, Mavericks rookie, Lakers insert, Magic rookie, Thunder insert, Pistons rookie, uh, Nets disco, Lakers rookie, Paul George of the Thunder to 155. Warriors insert. Spurs rookie. Suns insert. Timberwolves insert. Lakers insert. Knicks rookie. Timberwolves disco. Suns rookie. For the Nuggets to 155, Gary Harris. Alright, that actually goes there. What is this? Right. Let me take a sip of this water.
the wrong way. Actually, no, the right way. Uh, Richard, you mean aside from being in the office? No. I don't have a life, Richard. The way I see it, I'm going to be grinding away at this stuff for a while. And I'm, I'm, I'm starting to get out of that weekend mentality. You know what I mean? Like, I'm, I'm trying to, to get out of that, like, oh, looking forward to the weekend mentality. You know? I, I, I want to get out of that. And just, you know, take it day by day. So on and so forth. But, yeah, I mean, no plans. I'm probably going to be in the office sorting breaks and helping catch up with that. Woo! Can you tell how excited I am? All right, what do we have here? Cavs rookie. Cantor to 85. Knicks. Clippers rookie. Raptors insert. Pacers rookie. Lakers rookie. Bulls rookie. Nets insert. Raptors rookie. Celtics insert. Thunder rookie. Warriors insert. Raptors insert. Celtics rookie, Raptors Disco. Well, Richard, hopefully, yeah. But, I mean, we we got a couple new uh, new sorters, and uh, they they seem to be doing well. We'll see. I mean, of course, it's too early to tell, but they haven't quit, which is good. You know, the majority of the people that have come by, they'll come by for like five minutes, and then we'll never hear from them again. So we'll see. We'll see. Kings rookie, Grizzlies Disco, Hawks rookie, Greg Monroe, the Suns to 155, Hornets rookie, Pistons Disco, numbered to 20, Zach Collins, Blazers rookie autograph, number 10 to 20, very nice, Harrison Barnes, Mavericks to 183, Hawks rookie, Raptors disco, Warriors insert, Kings rookie, Cavs rookie, Sixers rookie, Suns insert, Grizzlies insert, Lakers insert, uh, Grizzlies rookie, Knicks disco, Nets rookie, Bucks insert, Clippers rookie, Kings insert. All right. Two boxes left. What about you, Richard? Are you going on another uh, one of your infamous camping trips? About, a, about an hour and a half to go before Jets and Browns kick off. Yeah, how'd you know, Corey? How'd you know? Has anybody seen the Predator, the new Predator movie? Maybe I'll maybe I'll do that this weekend.
I might, maybe I'll go golfing. I haven't gone golfing in a while. Golfing's a nice little hobby I picked up. That's how I know I'm getting old. You know, 18-year-old Jesse would slap the crap out of me for saying that. Richard, are you talking to me? Do I like old bay seasoning? I never even heard of that. If it, if it ain't that, if it ain't mojo criollo or adobo, I don't know, yo. All right, or that Goya. Shout outs to Goya. Blazers rookie, Warriors insert, uh, Lakers insert, Timberwolves insert, Pacers rookie, uh, Lakers rookie. Grizzlies rookie, Nowitzki to 183 Mavericks, Celtics rookie, Bulls insert, Rap uh, Rockets insert, Lakers rookie, Mavericks disco, Magic rookie, Sixers rookie, Raptors rookie, Grizzlies disco, Celtics rookie, Cavs insert, Sixers rookie, Warriors insert, Grizzlies rookie, Grizzlies rookie, Nuggets rookie. For the Grizzlies to 85, Mr. Mike Conley. Grizzlies rookie, Warriors insert, Lakers rookie, Nuggets disco. It is seasoning they put on seafood. Ah, okay. Well, no wonder I never heard of it because I do not eat seafood. I actually hate it. Clippers rookie, Spurs insert, Warriors insert, Kings rookie, Sixers disco. Nice! Damian Lillard, auto! Whoa! This has been a pretty good five boxes. Well, four boxes so far. The fifth box still to go. Nice auto right there for the Damn, Blazers did really well for themselves in this break. De'Aaron Fox of the Kings to 183. Hogs rookie, Bugs Disco, Heat insert. Time for the last boss mojo. Yeah, Richard, I'm not a big fan of seafood. Like I'm one of those people that I smell my food before I eat it, kind of kind of people. Like if the food smells bad, I'm not gonna eat it. It's just, I don't know, that's true, Corey. That is very true. That is very true. I'm not going to repeat it because it's not Rip City After Dark just yet. Not just yet. The sun's still up, technically. I got to check on those vertex breaks. I'm not sure if that's accurate or not. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Like what, Corey? Give me an example. Give me an example. Cause I've I've never smelled something that didn't taste just like it. You know, if, do you understand what I'm saying? Like if it smells like shit, it's probably gonna taste like shit. But I've never had something where like it smells great and then I eat it and it's not good. That's never happened to me. The opposite either, where I've smelled something taste dude, if it smells bad, I'm not just not gonna eat it. I'm not I'm not I'm not I'm not gonna take that chance. Well, you know, shrimp are relatives of the cockroach family. Have you have you seen a cockroach and a shrimp? They're kind of similar. So when I see people eat shrimp, 
you know, I'd whisper in their ear, you just ate a cockroach's cousin. And then, you know, and then I enjoy watching them barf their brains out. I don't actually do that, but I want to, though. Anyway, last box. What do we got? Let's see. Uh, Lakers Disco. Celtics Rookie. Pelicans Insert. Sixers Rookie. Bucks Insert. Rockets Insert. Grizzlies Rookie. Blazers Rookie. Nuggets Rookie. Swanigan of the Blazers to 155. Grizzlies Rookie. Raptors Insert. Clippers Rookie. Kings Rookie. Another Kings Rookie. Boogie Cousins for the Pelicans to 183. Hawks Rookie. Clippers Insert. Raptors Rookie. The only time I'll, I'll actually eat seafood if it's, is if it's deep fried. And that kind of doesn't count. Because everything's good when it's deep fried. So, uh, Lakers insert. Nets rookie. Thunder insert. Cavs rookie. Cavs disco. Clippers rookie. Lakers insert. Pacers rookie. Thunder insert. Heat insert. Bulls rookie. Blazers disco. Thunder rookie. And the last stack here. Well, there's the auto. DJ Wilson. Bucks. Rookie autograph. Nice afro. As a man that rocks an afro, I can appreciate a good afro. Dennis Smith Jr. of the Mavericks to 85. Hornets rookie. Uh, Thunder insert. Wizards insert. Hawks rookie. Hornets disco. And a Kings rookie. And that, my friends, is going to do it for the break. All right. Now, let's hit you with this recap. So let me separate some stuff here. Different colors, different numberings. All right. Let's start with these, which are to 193. Can you see it there? We got uh, Kil uh, Kid Gilchrist, Hornets, Chris Suns, uh, Nowitzki Mavericks, Barnes Mavericks, Fox Kings, and a Cousins Pelicans. The purples are to 155. <sighs> ha! All right. Gordon Rockets, Harris Nuggets, George Thunder, Monroe Suns, and... For the Blazers, Caleb Swanigan. And the Reds, which are to 85. There you go. We got Holiday Pelicans, Cantor Knicks, Conley Grizzlies, and Dennis Wood Jr. of the Mavericks. But now, for what you want to see. You want to see autos, don't you? Well, ask and uh, you shall receive. So we have Teodosi Clippers. DJ Wilson Bucks. Justin Jackson for the Kings. And the Blazers did work on this. Check it. Not only do they get a Damian Lillard Blazer autograph. Probably my favorite player in the league. Also, a rookie auto. Zach Collins. Disco Pink, no less. Number 10 to 20. That's a good one. And that was the break, y'all. Thank you, eBay. We'll get it out there.